Hey everybody, Yankee here. The other day at Sporting Systems, when I was talking to one of the other customers who watches my channel, he made a comment as we were kind of perusing through the guns. He said, what type of idiot would pay the extra money for a standard manufacturing single action army clone when the Ubertis are just as good and so much cheaper? And being the kind of idiot that would actually buy the standard manufacturing, as you can see, I said, well, you know, you really got to appreciate the little things. And I kind of left it at that. Didn't want to really get into an argument about it. Uh, and he said, yeah, I guess so. And we kind of went on. And it just goes to show you don't always have to fight about something. You can just disagree. But uh, I wanted to do a little video today, uh, now that I'm back at home and I know he watches my channel, to kind of illustrate the little differences between the two. And what I meant when I said that you have to appreciate the little differences. The standard manufacturing gun is just better made. They pay more attention to detail. It's more refined. It's more precise. It's better in almost every way, just a little bit. You just have to determine for yourself whether that little bit of difference is worth it to you. It was to me. And I'll show you here why I think this gun is so much better than the Uberti. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the case collared finish. On the Uberti, it isn't bad. I'm not going to say that. It actually looks pretty good. It's nice. But it pales horribly to the finish on the standard manufacturing gun. This gun, that finish, that's some of the most beautiful case hardening, case coloring I've ever seen. They have a 1911 that they also put this finish on, and it's just amazing. It is leaps and bounds above the finish on the other gun. Even their blued finish on their cylinder and on the barrel is way better than the blued finish on the Uberti's cylinder and its barrel. Another difference you can tell between the two guns is the level of fitting. If you look at the side gate on this gun, you can see it there. I mean, it's not fit badly, but you can see it's clearly there. If you look at the side loading gate on the standard gun, it's fit so well that in person, you barely see it. It's very easy to miss it entirely because it just kind of blends in and disappears. That's some way better fitting. If you look at the hammers, you can also tell that the standard has better fitting because not only does it fit flusher everywhere, you know, every little crease lines up. If you look at the side of the hammer, there's no scratches. It fits perfectly. There's no wiggle on this. If you try to wiggle it, it doesn't move at all. If you look at the hammer on the Uberti, you know, it doesn't fit in quite as well. If I run my finger, I can feel some differences in heights here. And if you cock back the hammer, I don't know how well you can see that there, but you see all that scratching on the side of the hammer? That's because it moves around. It doesn't fit as perfectly as the one on the standard does. If I give this a shake, it actually wiggles around a little. I doubt you can see it on camera, but trust me, it's there, you can feel it. Another difference is also on the hammers, if you look at the Uberti, the firing pin wiggles. In fact, when you shake the gun, you can hear it wiggle. On the standard gun, that firing pin does not wiggle. When you shake this gun, there's no noise whatsoever. All right, now I don't know how well you'll see this, but also there's little differences on uh, things like the trigger guard when it comes to the milling. If you look at this one, it's not completely flat. It's got a couple of different uh, angles it's been ground at here and they never really flushed it out perfectly when you look at that flat side on it there. Whereas when you look at the one on the standard gun, it's completely flat. They've taken the time to make sure all their angle grinds end up flush in the end. Another difference that I really can't show you on these two guns, because only one of them has wood grips, is the actual wood grips themselves. The ones on the standard are a higher quality hardwood grip. They just look better. They feel more solid. This Uberti here actually has a polymer grip on it, but if it did have a wooden grip on it, it'd be a little bit lower grade wood, wouldn't feel as thick, wouldn't feel as heavy, wouldn't be quite as nice. One more thing you can look at here to show you attention to detail and finishing is look at those screw heads on the side of the gun, the three screws. Look at how they're aligned. They're put in well. I mean, they look good. They're not stripped out, but you know, they're not really aligned. They didn't take the time to make sure that they were precision fitted enough that that was a possible thing. Now look at the screws on the standard gun. Not only are they fit well and not stripped out or damaged, but they're aligned properly. 
they were designed well enough that when they go into the gun and they are at their maximum tightness, they're properly aligned. That took some hand fitting. That's a little extra effort someone took on this gun when it came to fit and finish. That even carries through to the screws on the rear. Not so with the Uberti. That's like I said, just a little bit more attention to detail and fitting. So as you can see, I'm not slamming the Uberti. They're nice guns. I have some. They're awesome. Love them. Especially these little special edition guns like this one here that's from the Expendables. I love Ubertis. They are a great manufacturer of true single action army clones. They're very true to the originals with a little bit of an update. So they're great guns. But the standard manufacturing, they make their own guns and they're just leagues ahead of the Uberti. As I have said before in the past, these used to be USFA guns. Uh, USFA was a company that kind of perfected making single action army clones. And then they went out of business, standard manufacturing, bought all their tooling and hired most of the people from the old company and started making the guns again. And even though they might not be as good as the USFA guns, they're still amazing as you just saw. And they are definitely worth a little extra money because they are such a more refined gun, such a better put together gun, and such a better looking gun even, even though they look very similar. If you're looking at them side by side, you just can't help but notice the standard manufacturing is a level above. Mm -hmm.